Hi, I just did a full body workout and I pushed myself harder than normal, like I do normally every week. Always hover harder than the last week. And then I just did on the bike interval training, 25 seconds on, 25 seconds off. On is very fast, fast as I can. Off is just, you know, like nothing almost, and then on again. First set was easy, second set was hard, third set was really hard. Four sales really hard, and in those seconds where you're counting down like 10 more, five more, you just have to keep going. You can't think, you have to push so hard, and it's about intensity, you know. 25 seconds you wouldn't think is difficult, but when you do it, uh, I mean, it's so fast and it's so hard, it becomes very difficult, and you can't think, you have to just do it. Uh, if people push themselves that hard, everything changes. The issue is with a lot of things, there's just a lot of mental constraint with everything. Always things holding you back from saying what you want to say, doing what you want to do, pushing as hard within a certain exercise as you'd like to, and it leads to a lot of lack of success, unhappiness, and moments like this, when you can't think, you're forced not to think because the moment calls out of you, that's when you really push and really grow into levels beyond where you were before, personally, with regard to the result, and in everything. So this is one of the great many things benefits I see about doing fitness and doing fitness really well. It's so helpful from the standpoint of human development, mental development, De thank you, you too. Development of every aspect of a person, I think, in some respect relies, relies upon their fitness. So with all that being said, it was a good workout. I'll be doing it again. I'll be doing it harder next time. And th these are the foundations upon which greatness are built. I mean, it's no secret from my videos. I'm a big fan of Federer. I respect Nadal a lot also for his work ethic and what he does on the court. To put that type of intensity into your craft or your art uh, on what's a figurative battlefield, it takes so much resilience, years of training, years of mental funks but pushing through them, years of the experience of this very thing that I'm talking about right now, describing what I just experienced of just pushing beyond what you thought you could. And it's only difficult in the moment of, then you get tired, that is a byproduct, but you grow. And at this point, I feel good. Where's the hard work? Where's the hard work now? Where's, where, 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 where's, the, where's the struggle? There's no struggle now. I just have the results now. I have the benefit now. The hard work is in the past. And now life becomes easier. I'm able to do things easier. I can think for more long. I know how to focus more intensely. I know how distracting my mind often gets because when I had to put it away for the sprinting on the bike, it was difficult. That's the benefit of all the cardio. So that's what I have to say for now. And um, I'll be back at it again after I've rested, eaten, relaxed, maybe in a day, maybe in two days. But you know, everything good is a lifestyle. It's never a one-time thing. But of course, it always happens one step at a time. At the moment of, it is a one-time thing. So that's what I have to say for today.